welcome back to my channel this is a long waited eyebrow routine as you can see i'm trying to get my model on for y'all so let's get into it um i'm starting off by just putting some chapstick on my chap lips because they were really really dry and i'm just trying to get it moisturized for y'all and here i'm just pulling back the wrap paper from my edges um, for some reason, I need to see my whole forehead when I do my eyebrows so I can know that I'm doing them right. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm starting off with just putting some primer on my face. My favorite Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I'm just putting that all over. And then I'm going to go in with the um, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer in my T-Zone to just matte that area up because your girl is very oily i sweat a lot a lot a lot a lot in my t-zone so i want to make sure my brows and stuff are nice and matte i'm going to use the spoolie on my benefit goof proof brow pencil which is in the shade number five i'm going to go back in and use that to just kind of outline my brows Fill in the sparse areas, but really in this clip, I'm just outlining the shape of how I want them to be. Kiss New York Top Brow Brow Cream in the color Ebony. And I'm just gonna, as you can see, cover in those sparse areas, fill it in, make it more dark, make it look more fuller. And to just, you know, make my brows pop out, period. I try to do hair-like strokes but for the most part, it's just me really just feeling every piece of skin that I see in my brows, just trying to fill all it in. Going in the front, trying to brush that out so it's not as dark as it is on the tail, as you can see. And yeah, that was me complaining about my head. It's big, y'all. It's big, huh? are supposed to be sisters but I clearly want mine to be twins I'm a perfectionist I'm just trying to make sure everything is in place and straight and I'm just gonna put a little brow gel to hold them in place in the front it's a little brown brow gel and then I'm going underneath my eyebrows with a lighter concealer which is the LA girl pro concealer and toffee and I'm doing a lighter one because I did eyeshadow afterwards. So, you know, I need a lighter concealer to make that eyeshadow pop. So just a light tan. And I'm just adding some more on my lid because I'm going to melt that out with a concealer brush. Melt that out. Can I use that? I like that. Yeah, we're going to melt that out on my lid. There we go. I kept doing 
feeling of woe in this video, y'all. I must have seen my little brother do it or something, but I kept doing it during this video. But I'm going at the top of my brow with another LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut. And that's more of a concealer that matches my skin tone. So I do a lighter underneath my brow, and then I'm going to do a concealer that matches my skin tone at the top. Just to make everything look kind of, you know, neeping in shape. That's me praying because my right eyebrow I always mess up when I'm doing it so I was just trying to get myself together to work on that brow but I did it pretty good it came out right so I was happy trying to make sure my lines are good the curves are great make sure them eyebrows straight oh that rhyme wow okay let me hush <laughs> concealer at the top some more I really could have left my brows alone right here y'all but like I said I do too much I'm a perfectionist so it just wasn't perfect to me right there I don't know why but looking back at it now I really could have just stopped but I keep going I'm just adding in some translucent powder to make sure you know that they stay matte throughout the day again I sweat a lot and I don't like when my eyebrows get oily so just adding a powder on top helps mattify them some more and I'm just brushing them away with that concealer brush again and here's when I'm finally satisfied with the way that they look there we have it y'all eyebrows are on fleek thanks for tuning in y'all and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video you guys be safe and happy new year